Welcome to day nine. So the pack winners from yesterday are going to be down below. Now, what else do we have left here? Well, as we're still waiting on the package to get in from Jim, I think we go down a sub deviation for those of you today that love field centers. This is, I apologize for my camera being booty here, but as you can see, this is one of the Trap Tricks field centers from Tapio cards here and uh, I actually really like this. It's even got the little shade Brigadine up here since you know that is part of the strategy for this deck. So if you guys want to get entered in to win this awesome field center all you gotta do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, leave a comment down below and of course make sure you like the video. It's a good old YouTube algorithm helping out the channel here and I wonder what other cool prizes we will have for day 10, 11, and 12, but we'll have to wait and see. So guys, get her in and take this field center off my hands. And of course, if you guys have won any of the days, please reach out to me on social media so you can claim that prize. Let's dig on into this, shall we? All right, so Peter sent me in a really cool deck, and I was going to cover this in an entirely different video, but I was like, you know what? We're doing the 12 Days series, so I figured we'd go ahead and do this. So instead of doing a little intro for this, we're going to show a replay for this particular one because this is actually kind of hilarious to me. Um, yes, this is a 47-card deck down here before you're like, wait a minute, what? So we are going to be showing off what the new cards can do for this deck and you guys know that this card locks you into light warrior right so this card one card special summon a queen's knight add a king's knight or jack's knight from your deck to your hand then immediately after this effect resolves you can normal summon one monster normal summon anything and you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except for light warrior monsters now you're like well that, that's a lot going on there now Let's kind of see what this bad boy does. So we are playing against evil twins up here, and we'll see uh, what kind of interesting things progress out of this game. Uh, I, it's not that exciting of a game, but it is some gameplay nonetheless here. So we get Ash, that's fine. Bun's gonna set Punishment and Droplet and pass turn over to us. Ooh, we drew Effect Failure. So we're going to summon out the Imperial Bower here. So if you control no other monsters, you can to this card to take two different monsters among Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack's Knight, and either add to your hand or special summon each monster. So it's a lone, or it's a rescue rabbit, and it's going to get ashed. Dread. All right, well, that's fine, because we're good enough to shoot the Joker straight here. We're going to discard a card, and we're going to go ahead and special summon two of our, our summon out queen, and we're going to use the effect of King here uh, to special summon the Jack, and then we're going to get punishmented. But that's fine. We're going to attack over with the Queen's Knight here. Said so now, during the end phase, all right, this absurd card literally says, during the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can take or target one light warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle into the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. Now remember, this says during the end phase, all right? So you can actually recur this back during your opponent's turn. So each and every turn here, you'll be able to just re-spam these knights out here and take full advantage of this through reloading up the deck. It's actually kind of hilarious, actually. Hmm. <clears throat> like in a, in a grindier format, this is actually very interesting. So we get a win there because we're just going to slam our knights back onto the table again on the next turn here. So we're going to progress on into game two here. Who knew the normal summoning Queen's Knight would be so good? Look at us. We open up Bower again and Prosperity. So we're going to Ash the Lilla here. <laughs> good times, right? I wish I could be that good. All right. They're going to activate home here. They're going to discard one to special summon, which is fine. Up comes the frost. All right. I'm going to go ahead and summon out Kishi Sakil here. Revive, make our friend here, Lilla. All right. Get our revive. Get our draw. And we got called by the grave and imperm and whatnot. That's not actually bad. So they're going to on another Kishi Sakil here. So both are loaded down. All right. So we draw Joker's Knight for turn here. So. You know what we're going to do, right, with all of our skill? We're going to Prosperity here first. We're going to go ahead and Tutor here. We're going to get Mill 6. And as you can see here, with all of our skill, we are going to get this Lightning Storm so that we can shoot off the opponent's back row here. Man, it's really great when you can actually get the chance to play your entire deck here. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a draw here. We're going to go ahead and Lightning Storm. They're going to banish our Ash, sure. We're going to go ahead and we're going to Joker's Knight. I'm going to go ahead and revive here for the pop. 
Now, luckily for us, we have the Bower here to go ahead and summon out our guys. We're going to go ahead and climb up into his sold. Now we're going to start a sold combo. Yay! So the, the, here's the derpy thing about this. This is a light warrior monster. I didn't actually realize she was light until I checked yesterday. I kind of thought she was a dark for, or an earth for a little while, but go ahead and do our thing here on the dumping. Hey, look, these are two light warrior monsters. It's actually uh, going to be relevant here. So get a poke over, get a poke over. All right, clean up aisle nine. All right, hey, we did it. Get some extra damage in there. And we're going to go ahead and overlay into Pallades, and we're going to set Trap Trick. And then we get to get our Joker's Knight back to our hand for the next turn here. All right, Recurability check, Pallades check. And we got a Trap Trick fully loaded to disrupt through the opponent's turn. I don't know what more you could really ask for here. So our opponent's going to go ahead and take the base, attempt a special. We're going to Pallades bounce back, and we get a free 2-0 there. Now, it's nothing too game-breaking, but... It is very fun to see what this deck can actually put on the table and produce for boards. Now we're going to pass it on over to the deck list for you. Alright, so this is what we're packing in for this bad boy here. And uh, I'll go through and I'll explain these. By the way, this is a one-of, by the way, and we saw it both games. The skill. So, we have basic hand traps here. We have triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy of Spring. Triple copies of Effect Villa here. Oh, I also got to give a shout-out to Peter for sending this to me if I didn't already say that. Guys, yes, Peter was the one that sent me this. Uh, from one of my locals, so yeah, enjoy this. We also have the one Fire Flint Flayed. If you control a warrior monster, you get special summons from your hand. Alright, you already know what you're doing with this. Level 4, or level 1 warrior extender, so you can touch down this good card. Then we have triple copies of Ghost Ball and the Haunted Mansion. So hand traps, check a -rooney. Now we have the one copy of Gear Freed. Uh, this gives you something to search off for the, the passive next turn, so you're able to play the game and start capitalizing on that advantage. Now, Want a pair of Bower here. Like I said, no monsters on the field. You can tribute this to basically special summon Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack's Knight, and either add them to your hand or special appropriately. Now, Joker's Knight, you can send Queen's, King's, or Jack's Knight from your deck to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. This card's name becomes the sent monster's name until the end phase. And then during the end phase, you get to target a light warrior in the graveyard, shovel it back, and get this back to your hand. Recurability, also same thing here. This actually occurs back to your hand during either end phase, actually. Now, you have Triple King's Knight here on normal summon. While you control that Queen's Knight, you get Special Summon Jack's Knight from your deck. Yes, Jack is, in fact, a brick, but that's fine. And then we have Triple Copies of Queen's Knight here. So, oh, eight basic knights here. Now, we have one Durandal here. All right, you can search for, you know, good stuff. Then we have one Called by the Grave, one DDR, one copy Phoenix Blade, and then we have triple copies of Joker Straight. So this is the discard one. Special summon a Queen's Knight, and then add a King or Jack from your deck to your hand, and then you can immediately, after this effect resolves, normal summon one of them. So that's actually where you grab the Queen, summon it, and then do the King, all right, and then capitalize off of that, which is actually pretty good. All right, now, we also have one copy of Living Fossil, one copy of Alpha Duder, one overdone burial, triple copies of Pot of Prosperity for tutoring, one copy and reinforcement of the army, and then we have triple copies of Joker as well. During the main or battle phase, send one spell card from your deck to the graveyard that specifically lists Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight. This effect becomes that spell effect that was activated. Then during the end phase, this card's in your graveyard, you get to shuffle that bad boy, that light warrior back on in, and recur this back. So you actually just get to Joker straight during your opponent's end phase here to touch down all of these extra monsters so you can start your next turn and capitalize. It's kind of hilarious. Then we have triple copies of Paleozoic Dynamiscus and triple copies of Trap Tricks, wrapping up the main deck. Uh, there was an Arcana Triumph uh, Joker, or Triumph Knight in here, uh, but testing has led that card to not being so good so it has actually been cut from the build so if you want to try to play it and go back to 47 you can but not really much of a need for it extra down here we have one unicorn one phoenix one is sold one ip mascarina one apoloso one access code one poly dynamo star liege one utopia the lightning one utopic future it's a light monster we have one utopic f-zero it's a light warrior monster one Utopia, one Excalibur, one Zeus, and two copies of Pallades. Side deck here we have Triple Cycle Raider, Triple Nibiru, one Utopia Double. It's an OTK enabler that's a light warrior. One or Double or Nothing with one Harpy's Feather Duster, two Lightning Storm, two Dimensional Barrier, and two copies of Heavy Storm Duster. Wrapping up 
the Knights of Knights for you guys. Just a nice little fun deck for you guys to mess around with if you want to have some fun. So guys, what do you think about this list? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure you get entered into today's beautiful opportunity to walk away with this awesome freaking Field Center, man. And I will see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day with some more cool, awesome content. You guys have a good rest of your day, alright? Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.